Hello, good day. Um, this is Bead with Mame, and it's always a joy to come your way once again. Uh, so for our project for today, this is what we are coming to work on. It's an earring, okay? A beautiful red earring. You can do it in different colors. So to help us achieve uh, this project, I want us to go through the tools and materials we'll be needing. So we'll be using a round nose plier and then we'll also be using our cutter. Okay, a cutter for cutting, a round nose plier for uh, quailing. We we'll also will be using this uh, head pins. Okay, head pins or earring pulls head pins or earring pulls and then we'll be using a uh, earring hooks okay right so let's get started first of all we'll coil the beads okay these we want to do this we'll coil the beads and then we arrange them we'll bring them together put them together to form this earring so this is how we achieve uh, these beads, okay? With the help of your round nose plier, you coil. You coil your earring pole or your head pin. Can you see? That way. This way. Good. Then you pass your your bead through it that way. You cut. Please be careful when you are cutting. Don't just uh, hold the bead this way and allow this one is is uh, it's wire. Don't allow it to just float about. Control control it. Okay, so you can hold it this way and then you cut. When you finish, you dispose it off safely and coil again so this is it that wasn't difficult at all let's try our hands on it again okay you quell i do the quelling because of the hole here i can easily uh, pass the the pull the the pin to it okay but if the hole was smaller were to be smaller um, I would have passed the, the bead through it before doing my quilling. Okay. So this way, see, you bring it to the tip of the pole and then you quail. Then you pass your bead through it that way. You cut the parts that you don't want. Dispose it off well so that it doesn't hurt anyone. Then you coil again. You bring it into the the hole of the bead. Can you see? So you practice it. Keep practicing. So you are perfect at it. Okay. So if if you practice it once and it doesn't work, don't worry. You keep your hands at it. Keep practicing. It will get better as you keep practicing. Okay. Good. So when you look at this, I have two different shapes of beads. Okay. We have this uh, sugar bead here. And then we also have uh, this crystal bead. Okay. So we are coming to work on the crystal bead too.
Hat jetzt. Hat sie. Und Monte hat sie. Und ja, die Koyo. Die Form der. The shape you want to work with. That way. You see. Okay, so we have our beads ready. Okay. We want to put them together to form this. So this is what we need. You need your pole. When you take your pole, make sure it's, it's straight. So you can just use your, your hand to straighten it. Good. What you do next is you coil. You coil your pole. Can you see? Open up the pole this way. And then arrange your beads on there. Look at it. You pick one and drop it. Pick another. It goes to the same loop I have formed that way. And I close the loop. Close the loop. Make sure it's well closed so that your beads do not fall off. Okay. Uh -huh. The next thing you do is to cut off this part. See the head. Yes. Cut it off. Dispose it off safely. Okay. Then you quell the tip of the pool. Carefully watch how I'm doing the coiling. You see, you open up the coil or the loop, and then you put your crystal bead or whatever bead you choose your bead in the loop that way here we go so the next thing you do is you fix a hook earring hook okay and this is how i do my this is how i do it the other ways you can do it do you can decide to open the the loop in the bead or open up the loop here i don't like opening here though you can open it and fix it and fix it i like rather to open the bead okay and here we are done the earring is ready and it's so lovely it's so beautiful look at it so thank you so much for watching keep sharing thank you for subscribing it's bye for now